Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Josh Chigoda, and today I'm going to show you how to roll out your low back safely and effectively. In addition to that, I'm going to show you what not to do. So first, we're going to start off with the foam roller in this position right behind her. What you don't want to do is put so much pressure over the spine like this. This is something you should really, really avoid. Even if you're having low back pain, this is going to end up causing you more, a lot more pain. The reason being is because this foam roller is way too large and it creates such a focal point and a lever point that, uh, that adds way too much extension into the spine. So that can be really dangerous. So how can we roll out the spine properly, right? The first thing I like to do is hold this in place. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one hand, this hand, and I'm gonna stabilize my back, my side, so I don't go too far like this, and I don't end up slipping and extending over the foam roller. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some pressure down into my back. So you can see my arms are stabilizing. I am putting some pressure going backwards. Now, if you have some tenderness on the spine itself, you may wanna avoid that, okay? That's first. After that, if you can go to the side of the muscles, that's more likely and more probable that you'll get a better release out of that. So my ultimate recommendation is don't overextend, first of all, and second of all, make sure that you don't go on the spine. So a lot of people will not listen to me, a lot of people will find relief in that, but overall, if you really wanna be more safe than, than sorry, just make sure you get the muscles, not the spine. So what we'll do here is we'll get it into place, we'll get some stability, I'm gonna just face the camera, and so if you notice what I did is I just rotated a little bit. The reason I rotate is I shift so I can get onto the muscles, not onto the spine. And now I have that compression going this way into the foam roller. So what you can do is just kind of foam roll. And if, look, if you look, look at how much the foam roller is moving. It's very, very, very little. You don't wanna be rolling up into the ribs right now. You don't wanna have all this extra motion. You really wanna be isolating that spine and isolating those muscles. And I can really feel those muscles are getting hit really well and I'm not overextending, I'm not hitting the ribs, I'm not overextending the back. And then just from the other side, it'll look like this. So I'm gonna get onto my, get it onto my back, very close up to get up against my back. Then I'm going to turn, stabilize. I'm gonna rotate, hold the foam roller in place if I need to, and just go up and down. So that is a great way to get some of the side muscles of your lower back uh, with a foam roller without causing any problems or overextending it back. All right, guys. I'm Dr. Josh Agoda. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.